It's the playoffs and it's Talladega. So glad you're with us today. It's about to get fun. It's about to get chaotic. And sit back and enjoy it. Drop that green flag. We're screen. Let's see what transpires. Some oil at the bottom of the track. The leader's just taken. Cars are sliding down from the top of the track, so watch yourself. You better go high, Cole. Pick a line you can drive through. Cole, are you all right? Answer me, please. Go around those wrecks. You can drive through it. I know it. I know it in my heart. Oh, oh, oh. Body's aching all the time. Formed again. And there's Willie Allen, the 98 event figure. They're starting to separate now and go too wide. That outside line with Chase Purdy and Brett Holmes. What's Gilliland going to do? Gilliland is down on the bottom roads trying to figure out what he wants to do. Creed is up top. It's Chase Purdy in front now. That was a great move. I mean, now they're just getting all jammed up back there. Here I'm comes Demacek and Crafton on the outside. Straight bent fellow. Oh, oh, fuck! Got turned. And it's Purdy going around, and Caution is out. We have not taken the white flag, so that means we're going to get overtime. <laughs> we have enough gas for...
Final Four in a championship on the line. If Nemechek or Rhodes or Crafton could win, but Crafton is slipping back. Oh, oh, oh this gets into Rhodes a little bit, but Rhodes is able to save it. It's Nemechek and Gilliland out front. Todd Gilliland leads with Fogel in third in the wrecking box. finish line down where they did here at Talladega because it just gives you so much extra time to thrash things. Bill France Sr. did that because he wanted to sell more tickets down that way. He said, let's put the start finish line there. That's unbelievable. Unbelievable. I couldn't, I'm a venture a professional. I couldn't even speak during that last lap. What the hell is that? Went to go to the bottom. John Hunter, big block. He fends off of that run. And now they're three wide or trying to get three wide. And Cinder gave up the bottom. That's going to slow that top lane down. Oh, we've got a crash. Caution's out. <laughs> the eight car, Sam Mayer. Also the 16. Where AJ Allmendinger. Where was the 16? I didn't even see him in the lead group. And here he comes into this accident. O2, check out the 8, wipe them into us. O2. Oh, cool. Possibly making contact with Sam Mayer. Big contact right here with Sam Mayer. We talked about young driver. Needs some experience here. Oh, here there it is, you go. four wide. Yeah, four wide. When Moffitt made it four wide, then the like Mayor made Baba it. Baba Booey. That's a massive for some, hit. Yeah, looking for some uh, racing room. I think who, I can't tell who that black and pink car is. That's exactly right. That's the one that there was contact. The 0-2 made it four wide. Ah! What a hit. Yeah, huge hit. And Almendinger came in here pretty good in the points, but that's big damage right there. He is going to get very few points today. That last lap at 188 miles an hour. These guys making split second decisions. Three wide for third place. Perkins down low, off in the middle. Hemrick far outside in the orange car. Which line does Cedric and Herbs block? Perkins has a little bit of a help. On the bottom line of the inside here to the 22 car, side by side, he jumps in front of his teammate. It's a great shot. Shows you the momentum each line has. Cedric is putting in some blue collar work, protecting his four teammate, not organizational teammate, but four teammate, but now the bottom two lines have momentum. Hurts is gonna stay committed to the board of Cedric. They lock bumpers a little bit down the front straightaway, a little pushing into the trioval. Molly Hurts could have gone all the way to the bottom and blocked all the lanes, but off the center has been so much help to him, he's going to stay with him. He has never won a stage, Riley Hurts. This would be a huge time with where he is in points to get this stage win. When they come back around, it'll be one lap to go in stage two. Again, he stays committed to that top, the 22 car, hoping to get a push. From the 18, they're all locked up down the back straightaway. Big speed, big momentum going into turn three. Blaine Perkins in that 23 car, no help from behind. Brett Moffitt jumped to the outside. 
Bell's in the bind, and, and he has John Hinternuchuk pushing him as well. Should be good momentum on the bottom lane right here. Jim Burton comes up the middle, though, and side drafts just a little bit off of those cars. That's going to break that outside line up. Perkins side by side for second. One lap to go in stage two. Great job. NASCAR Xfinity Series playoff action from Talladega, presented by Blue Emu. 25 laps to go, 66 miles left, and we got a Hard contact. Noah Gregson, head on. <laughs> right here he is on the left side kind of lined up probably trying to get a little air. I'm gonna lay you out oh crap oh. That was a big block right there from Brandon Jones. Hembrick smartly lifted, cutting him some slack. Brandon and Brandon side by side. Brown on the bottom, Jones up top. Hembrick continues to get a good push off the front of those two college cars, but just can't seem to do anything with it. Every time he gets a run, the 19 blocks. Coming, running three wide, multiple rows. One wrong move, one false move. Two guys get together. Harrison tried so desperately to save that car. Due to darkness, we're coming to a yellow and checkered flag. NASCAR has called the race. The 68 of Brandon Brown. Is going to too dark. Oh my God. Wow. Just wow. This is based on the loops. This is a dream come true. This is a dream come true. Brandon Brown coming down the front straightaway. About to realize. Oh, I'm taking the checkered board. Let's go! <laughs> you hear the emotion already in his voice. First ever career win. 114 stars. Thank you guys. Thank you. You guys, oh my god. Thank you, Dad, so much. We did it, Dad. We did it. We won. You're emotion as he talks.
much to his father, as I mentioned. Him and his dad, that they built this thing together. That'll be a popular win in this series. A lot of drivers and fans know how hard this guy and his team has worked to put themselves in this position. the emotion and excitement in this man's face. Wait, what did you fucking just say to me? Elliot leaving his pit box. A lot of cars Watch where you're going. This is why we so can't have nice things. On the brake. On the brake. Too fast. Oh, uh, we're back here. Sorry. Push, push, push down the back straightaway. Two car sees it. He gets up and block. Huge momentum. Reddick decides to stay in the back bumper of the two. Try right now yes this is a big issue because his dvp is also running as well sitting on pit road fired up now he's moving i hate turning the race car off on pit road it's just been too many times i've gone to fire it up and it will not fire and the pit crew the crew chief steve he isn't thinking that you have a problem firing it up if Correct. it takes five seconds longer you're going to get lapped and while all that was happening chris busher just won his third career stage Now they got a big run on the outside. We'll see what Ricky Stenhouse Jr. does now that he has cleared the field. The nine also, as well as the two, all three of those cars have cleared the inside line. Will they go down in front of it? Big push on the inside coming, Denny Hamlin. Big push on the outside. Insane. Look at the run Bubba Wallace has now on the high side. A big shove from Kurt Busch. Bell also clearing the 11 of Denny Hamlin. Bush now leading that outside line. Really tight on the outside line. Bartrick, Peter, Bush, and Cook for Kurt Bush. Matt Benedetto, that's 21 for him. He's been riding around in the back all day. Now it's time to try to get the finish. He's up in front. Now Kurt is going to just block whichever line he thinks best. Whichever line is, has the momentum. They all have it. So what are you going to do, Kurt? You're going to stay on the bottom right here. Now it's Kurt Bush to the 23 of Bubba Wallace. Rick, the moves are getting bolder, the intensity picking up on pit road. Why? Listen on the radio. So what happens first? Eight to go in stage two, the rain or the end of the stage. This could be for the win. Sarah's on top of it. Now they're talking rain. Oh no. That only makes this intensity raise even more. He just with the driver just got told right there is the thing's gonna end any second. The sales right on time for us. This could be for the race. We have to do what you gotta do. Bubba Wallace, get right here. I'm here for the race. Huge from the 23 car to the top. Covering that outside line. What does Greg Kozlowski do? He's gonna continue to push the 23. They're getting out pretty far. That's a pretty big lead. The 22 Logano is gonna have a huge run here. 
What does Bubba Wallace do now? Under five. Oh, Priest is around. He catches the 24 as well as the 21. Caution comes out. And fire coming out of the back of the 24 of William Byron. Right now, the race would be official if this race didn't continue. So I expect the cars to come down pit road, be stopped under red condition. That is now the running order. That is how the cars are scored. And if this race is called and your car inside the top 10, you will receive the race points and stage two points. So that top five run for Brad Keselowski, Joey Logano, Christopher Bell in fifth, that's like a double whammy. I mean, fifth, Christopher Bell's gonna get his bucket full from stage two without even needing to see the finish of it and get the end of the race. So this sprint to the finish that ended up in an accident, very vital for these playoff cars. The intensity was picking up on the racetrack. They knew that the possibility of rain was out there. Now the field Bubba Walls wants to lead this has been put thing. in line based Look upon wow. the loops when the caution came Bubba, out. Go That's the way they would have them all. And they would be dropped down by the now. Goes to the goes to the lead and oh, we will see man, how long the rain be jumping up and down. is going to be here. Bubba Wallace win. The caution came out, was in front of the field. The rain started then right away. History made once again. It's official. Bubba Wallace gets his first career win. He's just the second African American to ever win at the highest level of NASCAR. Over 50 years ago, Wendell Scott was the first. Bubba Wallace now officially the winner at Talladega. Led by reigning Cup Series champion Kyle Busch and Green and their crews, the entire garage area rallied around Bubba Wallace on the number 43 today. Because yesterday afternoon, a noose was found hanging in the garage stall of Bubba's race car. In the NASCAR Cup garage area, a secure area where access is limited to competitors, officials, and track staff. Everybody's six foot four, 240 pounds. Everybody has 600 horsepower. No one is white, black, brown, or yellow. They are all racers. And they are all our heroes. Talent.